A sitemap is useful as a secondary navigation system in your website and is usually located in the footer of the page. It's a great place for pages that you might need to include but don't want in your main navigation. For example, legal text and company information. A sitemap does not have to include all the pages in your site, so choose just the pages that you want or need to include. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create a sitemap in a center aligned page and in a responsive page. Bear in mind that there are many different ways in which you can create a sitemap, so the following are just two examples. The first example is used only in fixed width page layouts, such as a center align page layout. Go to the page where you want to add the sitemap, for example your master page. Create a text box and change the text to the name of a page in your site that you want to create a link to. Now style and format the text. For example, change the height and width of the text box. Set the after paragraph value in the text inspector to 0 and align the text to the left and center the text vertically within the box. Next select the text and click on the hyperlinks inspector button. Click on the enable as hyperlink box. Then choose the page that you want to link the text to. Select the color and underline options for each state as required. When finished, Move the text box into the footer. Duplicate the text box for the next sitemap link. Repeat this process until all the sitemap links have been created. As you work, place the text boxes where you want them to be on the page, for example, in an organized grid. To make the grid so that it looks good on the page, click on the widest text box then go to the metrics inspector and make a note of its width, as it's useful to have all of the text boxes the same width. Next, select all of the text boxes. Then enter the value of the widest text box into the width field in the metrics inspector. This will change the widths of all of the selected text boxes. Repeat this process using the tallest text box, so that all of the text boxes are the same height and width. Use the Arrange Align menu commands and the Arrange Distribute commands to line up all of the text boxes into an evenly spaced grid. The last step is to add the background color shape. Add a rectangle to the page and style it as you want, then move it into the footer. As the rectangle covers the objects in the footer, use the Arrange Center Back menu command to send the rectangle to the back of the page. You have now created your sitemap. Apply the master page to your site's pages using the master page section of the page settings tab. The second example uses a responsive page. Add a responsive row widget to the footer area if one is not there already. Select the responsive row and add top and bottom padding to the widget as desired. Next, go to the Shape Options tab and change the widget's background color if you want. Now add the text section widget into the responsive row widget in the footer. In the Style Text Editor, change the text to Sitemap. Next, check the Use Custom Buttons box. Click on the Add button to add your first sitemap link. Enter the name of the link that you want. In my example, I am going to change the background button color to match the background of the responsive row. Set the link of the button to the page that you want using the Link button. Duplicate the button and change the button text and button link for each button. Repeat this process until you have finished creating your sitemap links. Once complete, set the minimum and maximum width of the buttons to that of the longest sitemap button. Add other objects that you may want into the responsive row widget. Use insert margin as desired to adjust the spacing of the objects. And finally, apply the master page to your site's pages 
using the master page section of the page settings tab.